For years, I've heard to avoid regional jets. Many frequent flyers say they're too small, they're too slow, and you're packed in with too many people. Well, today, I'm going to find out how bad they are. Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation, and I'm here at the Detroit Metro Airport, my home commercial airport, to pick up a Delta Airlines CRJ900 to head out to Albany, New York, and answer the question, how bad are regional jets? Come with me and let's go. It's time to fly. Enjoy the video. Man, it's so nice to see airports being busy again. Everything's starting to fill back up and starting to feel normal again. And I'm so happy that it's come back to being relatively normal. All right, so I'm here at gate A51, and there's the CRJ900 that will take me to Albany this morning. Looks pretty good. First time flying a CRJ, first time on a CRJ900, the largest variant here in the U.S. Should be exciting. Let's go. Trying to get any footage or pictures of the plane is miserable because of these stupid, dumb Detroit dots. Hey Jeb, if you're watching this video, give it a like, and yeah, I know how much you hate these things. These are a plane spotter's nightmare. Anyway, first world problems aside, let's get ready to go. Heading off to Albany on this CRJ900. Should be fun, let's go. Soon I boarded the CRJ, ready for anything, except yeah, this. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had sat in the wrong seat. This was my real seat, 16A. That it's full. We kindly ask that you step out of the aisle for other customers to pass by and you take your assigned, and please take your assigned seat as quickly and as safely as possible. Large electronic devices like laptops must be stowed prior to pushback, either in a bag under the seat in front of you or in an overhead bin. Pretty soon, however, we taxied out they past passing the Detroit Air Traffic box. Control Tower on our way out. And eventually... After a really... Long... Painfully slow taxi time at Detroit. We finally reached our takeoff runway. Runway 21 right as we prepared to go, heading to Albany. On our takeoff run, we passed a Delta 717 in from Windsor Locks, Connecticut. I intend to do this flight not only because it's a 717, but that's where my brother lives. But that's enough of that. Let's fly. Our flight path to Albany today would be pretty straightforward, crossing Lake Erie, then dropping down into southeastern New York. But pretty soon, we reached our cruising altitude of 32,000 feet. I then sent my friend Reese a text over the in-flight Wi-Fi. Keep an eye out for him and a video pretty soon. But soon the express snack service came by, and we broke through the clouds ready to land in Albany. Here's the airport. Down we go. Ooh, a 727. This was my first time in the capital of New York State, and I was very excited. But pretty soon, we taxied in past the United States Army helicopters, and we got ready to park at our gate in Albany. After hopping off the CRJ, I saw a United Retro A320 and an Embraer 145. Pretty cool. 
All right, flight one of two is done on the CRJ. And we know we're in Albany because there's a Dunkin' Donuts. All right, flight two in a few days. A few days later. All righty, so a couple days later after an eventful trip out here, there was the wedding, I saw my family members, my brother, lots of fun. But now I'm back at Albany Airport and have a nice backdrop behind me of some pictures in New York State. Anyway, back at the airport in a little bit, I'll be catching my flight back on a CRJ900 back up to Detroit. Pretty much the same route as last time, so on this route, I'll kind of give some more history about the program and the CRJ and stuff. All right, see you in a little while. After hoping for a future Southwest flight, I grabbed my breakfast from Chick-fil-A and found a window. I was excited to see this Allegiant A320 from Nashville. I'd never seen an Allegiant plane. But pretty soon it became clear that this day would be full of A320 jets. I also really enjoyed seeing the little planes. Pretty soon the first flight to Detroit on a CRJ900 took off. I'd be on the second flight, here's my example, arriving in from LaGuardia. But soon I boarded my flight and was ready to go back to Detroit. I chose a seat on the right side of the plane this time in an effort to change the view on your screen. I hope you enjoyed that. The seat size on this CRJ900 was relatively small but adequate for my purpose at 5'9". Soon we flew over Toledo Executive Airport as we began our descent into the Michigan area, but there was lots to see. Soon I saw an old friend. I was almost home. I apologize for no takeoff or landing footage on this second flight back to Detroit. My GoPro died. We taxied past a Lufthansa A330 in the new livery in from Frankfurt. What a treat! And then when we parked at our gate, we were in for another treat. We taxied right past the air traffic control tower, my favorite thing on the airport. Now to answer the question I was in search of, how bad was the flight in terms of a regional jet? Honestly, it wasn't that bad. There was no in-flight entertainment, which is to be expected, and the seat was not that big, but other than that, I have no complaints. Once I was back in Detroit, I also saw a Delta A350 in from Seoul, Incheon, a Boeing 767 in from London, and another A350. What a treat for plane spotting today. that I'm back in Detroit and I've run into not one but two A350s heading to Amsterdam. Pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for this video. As always, wishing you blue skies and tailwinds.